the science section of the KNAT Kaplan nursing entrance exam. Stay tuned because this is gonna be every single topic, what you need to know. Before we get into that, if you want practice on this exam, check out the links below. There are different links. There's a link for our free practice test that has a really good scored report that will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses down to this detailed level that we're about to go over. You know, subscribe to us on YouTube. We have a lot of videos coming out for the Kaplan test, um, a lot scheduled to come out. So, and join our Facebook community. Lots of great people just like yourself who are sitting for the same test, going over the same problems and everybody's helping each other out. So I want you guys to be a part of that so that you don't miss out. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be be 20 questions in 30 minutes. So you don't have a ton of time to work through these 20 questions uh, and you don't have an opportunity to miss many of these questions to get them incorrect. So I've kind of said that for all these subject areas. Uh, if you miss five questions, it brings your score way down. So you need to make sure that you are very familiar with all the things that we're going to go over here. You will see mostly the AMP, the anatomy and physiology, but you're really probably going to see more of the physiology aspect of things, hormones and why they get secreted and things like that. You're going to need to know more of the why and how things work. Um, a little less of like labeling a diagram, every little part of every system. So that's kind of more the anatomy part. Know that you don't have chemistry or anything like that. There might be some biology, very few questions, if any at all. You might not get any, but there are a few basic things that you should be familiar with. You don't need to know them at a detailed level, but we'll go over some of those things. And everybody gets a different test. Many people have said that they've taken the test more than once and they got the same exact test. But many other people said they took the test more than once and they got a completely different test. So definitely don't be you know, relying on getting that same test or getting questions that someone else had and kind of memorizing those questions because that is not something that might work for you. The biggest thing that everybody who has put anything on YouTube says is uh, for this AMP part of the science section is to really focus on cardio. Know your cardio, know the blood flow of the heart. Um, a lot of people have said they've gotten questions on asthma or hypertension. So, you know, just a heads up, make sure you're familiar with those things. And yeah, just uh, know the blood flow, like the back of your hand. Um, it does help to take AMP one and two as courses, if you haven't done that already, if you have the opportunity to do it, if you haven't do that, it's gonna, it's gonna really gonna help you ace this section. It's probably gonna make it super easy for you. If you haven't, then, you know, Smart Edition and KNAT Tutor has you covered on everything you would need to know. Um, and then the other thing is the nervous system uh, and the respiratory system. Lots of questions on those specifically. It's, everyone says you will see questions on that. So with all that said, I want to go ahead and get right into it. There's quite a bit to cover. We've got a lot of systems. Uh, so I'm going to go over kind of each and every topic, things that you need to know, and then we'll touch just a little bit on biology. The first thing that we'll talk about is organization of the human body. Um, there are levels of organization and, and body and, and the body cavities. So know those seven levels. That is the chemical, organelle, cell, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. Uh, know all the body cavities, okay? Uh, we know terminology, things like posterior, anterior, lateral, distal, medial, uh, and there's, there's a few more, so be very familiar with those. Know body planes and the body regions. Know the upper limb, the lower limb, the central and head region. Uh, know the human tissue, so there's four types. There is connective, uh, uh, epithelial, muscle, and neural. Know those no homeostasis and feedback mechanisms. So there's negative and positive feedback. So be familiar with those things. Uh, we can talk about the cardiovascular system. And again, these are things that you're going to probably see more than one question on. So if you're really going to spend time studying a and I would suggest focusing most of your time on cardio and then again, the nervous system and the brain. Uh, but for cardio, you're probably gonna get some more detailed questions. So it wouldn't, it, you know, you'll see something like, when this heart valve closes and this one opens, it releases what type of blood? And so it's not gonna say, uh, when this heart valve closes and this one opens, what what is released, blood? It's gonna be a little more detailed than that. Don't expect softball questions like that. Uh, so you need to know what type of blood gets released between those two valves. So you need to know the anatomy of blood, the functions of blood, uh, no homeostasis, 
the blood groupings. So there's blood group A, blood group B, uh, there's A, B, and O. Um, no agglutination. That's going to be a part of this whole system and things that you would need to know. No cardio anatomy. No the atria, the ventricles, uh, the septum, etc. There's a couple more. Make sure you know them. Uh, know the valves, right? So the, again, you're definitely going to want to know the valves and they're going to ask you questions specifically when this valve closes and that one opens, what happens? So those valves are the aortic valve, the mitral valve, the pulmonary. There is the circulation of the cardiac cycle. Be familiar with that cycle and how it works. Respiratory system. So know the whole anatomy of the respiratory system. There is the upper and lower tracts. There's respiratory functions and breathing mechanics, knowing the mechanics of respiration. The other systems we can talk about, gastrointestinal, the GI system. Know the anatomy of that digestive system, uh, the path of food into the system. There are accessory organs that you should know, the liver, the pancreas, the gallbladder, the tongue digestion and how it works in that GI system. And uh, you should know the disorders of the digestive system. So for the stomach, there is vomiting, ulcers. Uh, for the liver, things like cirrhosis, hepatitis. In the intestine, there's IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, colitis, appendicitis. Reproductive system, know the male reproductive system, the female reproductive system. Um, and while I said physiology is primarily what you're going to see, you do need to know and be familiar with the anatomy. So being able to know the different parts in a diagram or an illustration, and again, the, the KNAT Tutor online course has really detailed color illustrations and diagrams. So know that stuff and be able to label that diagram yourself. That's how you know that you're probably getting pretty close to really mastering uh, these individual systems. Reproduction, know how reproduction works things about the fetus. So that's like the umbilical cord, the placenta, the amniotic sac, uh, and know a little bit about human development. So those are things like puberty and menstruation. You also have the urinary system. So know the anatomy of that. There is waste elimination, osmoregulation of blood and water, uh, hormone secretion. And I would really stress to learn everything about the hormones and all of these systems and kind of what they secrete and how they secrete and why they secrete and what that secretion does. Be familiar with the hormones in general. Uh, no characteristics of the kidneys, the bladder, the urethra. Uh, there is nephrons and urine formation. So there's two parts to the nephron, and that is the renal corpsal. Uh, renal corpuscle and the renal tubule. No urine excretion and ADH, that is the antidiuretic hormone. Urinalysis, so there is macroscopic urinalysis and microscopic. The skeletal system, know how many bones are in the body. We are born with 270 bones. As an adult, we have 206. Many of those bones fuse together, so we end up with less bones than we were born with. There are two parts of the skeletal system, so be familiar with them. They are the axial skeleton and the appendicular. Know your bones, cartilage, ligaments, uh, what they are, what they do, and how they work. Know shape and structure, so there are long bones, flat, irregular, uh, sesamoid. Make sure you're kind of knowing things at a detailed level. Don't expect these kind of soft, general, do you know the definition of things? That's not really what you're going to get. They, they want to know uh, in a little more detail on this science section. So you might see a question that is uh, something like, it's not going to be, what is a flat bone? It's going to be, which of these bones is a flat bone? And it's going to give you a list of bones. So you need to know uh, of those bones, which ones are flat, which ones are not. Don't just rely on kind of knowing what it is. You have to really know it down to a detailed level. So please do me that favor and uh, get down to in this A and P section into a very detailed level so that you can do good because I'm rooting for you guys. The muscular system, know the anatomy of the muscular system. There are three types of muscles. That is the cardiac, the skeletal, and the smooth. No anatomy of those three types of muscles no muscle contraction, no, no the ligaments and the joints, three types uh, of ligaments and joints. There is a movable, partly movable, and the synovial, integumentary system. I have a really hard time with that word. I always want to say integumentary, but it is integumentary. Integumentary. Know this system pretty well. This is going to be your skin, your hair, your nails. Uh, know the layers of the skin. 
epidermis, keratin, uh, subcutaneous. You know the dermis layer, the hypodermis, and glands. Um, glands are like sweat glands, the apocrine, the uh, eocrine, and the sebaceous glands. Nervous system, I mentioned it before, but a lot of people said you will definitely get questions on nervous system. 100% you will get questions on nervous system. Likely you will get questions on the brain and the parts of the brain. So that's kind of the three regions of the brain and the lobes of the brain. So you know, be prepared to know these things. You will get questions on them. So the three regions of the brain are the cerebellum, the brain stem, and the cerebrum and the lobes know the thalamus and the limbic system anatomy of a neuron uh, those brain neurons so those are you know the parts of that neuron are the cell body the dendrites the axon know that synaptic transmission and nerve impulses okay those are all going to be parts of the nervous system we can talk about the endocrine system uh, know the functions of the endocrine system so those are things like water balance, ion regulation, growth, metabolism, blood glucose control, uh, no chemical signals. So that's uh, autocrine, paracrine, neuromodulators, neurotransmitters, and pheromones. Know the receptors in the endocrine system. And again, just no hormones. You will see questions about hormones and the system uh, kind of works a bit with hormones. So be familiar with that stuff. Uh, no endocrine glands and their secretion. Next up is the lymphatic system. So know the key players in the lymphatic system. Those are things like the spleen, the tonsils, the uh, adenoids, uh, appendix, thymus gland. Uh, know the two types of lymphocytes, that is B cells and T cells. Know about killer T cells killing host cells. That's a thing. Make sure you know about it. Uh, know the types of immunity. Uh, different types of immunity are things like natural passive, natural active, artificial passive, artificial active. Vaccinations are a part of the lymphatic system. So kind of be familiar with them, kind of what they do, uh, their purpose. Um, and know some diseases and disorders of the lymphatic system. So that, those are diseases and disorders like lupus, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, I couldn't fit that in a boat if I had a boat behind me. Uh, it's so much stuff you need to know. So just focus on uh, A&P when you're in the science section. That's really primarily what you're going to see. Um, it has been stated that there might be some rare biology questions that might come on the test, uh, that kind of life and physical sciences. And it's not, if you do get them, it's not going to be at a detailed level, but just to cover your bases, this is more of a thing where like you need to know at a very high level what these things are or like the definitions of things, but they're not gonna drill you on those detailed uh, things within these topics. So just a couple things to know, or at least be familiar with, um, would be like scientific reasoning, designing an experiment. You know, definitely the metric system, know that because I mentioned in the math videos, these are things you're going to need to know for nursing school. So do yourself a favor and make sure that you're familiar with them now. Let's see other things just at a high level you'd want to know like uh, taxonomy, the kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genius, species. You wouldn't need to know much more detail about them, but know that know that taxonomy. The scientific method, okay, these are all pretty basic things. I won't even really go much deeper than that, but just very topically be familiar with some of those things. And uh, and that's it. So like there's no chemistry, physics, any of that on the test. Just focus on that A and P, that's it. Uh, make sure you check out the free practice test below for the KNAT test. There's links in there for the free practice test, the online course, the study guide, uh, lots of good resources there. Uh, also our Facebook page, check all that stuff out. And we're gonna put out a lot more videos for the KNAT. So make sure you are subscribing to us on YouTube. Uh, so good luck on the test. If you think I missed anything or there's things that should be included in this video, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you found it helpful. Uh, I'm scouring the internet and watching everybody's YouTube video so that you don't have to. I want to know if this is helpful and valuable to you. If you think there's other things that should be in here, just let me know. Good luck studying. If you guys need anything, just let us know. And uh, we're looking forward to helping you guys out more.